Hey designers, let's create this motion graphics animation in After Effects. Let's get started. Take a new composition. I have taken a 1080 by 1920 composition. First of all, let's make a new solid. So go to layer, new, solid. The color does not matter because we will apply effect on it. Go to effects and presets and search CC particle world. Drag and drop it onto that solid. Go back to project. Import the bubble PNG. This is a transparent bubble PNG. Import it. Drag and drop it onto the timeline and adjust its scale. Hide this layer because we will just use this bubble on the effect that we will apply on this solid layer below. So hide this layer. Select the solid layer and go to effects. Go to particles. Change the particle type to textured scale. Go to texture options and change the texture layer to this bubble PNG layer. Change the birth color to white and death color to white as well. Now, close this. Navigate to physics, options and change the animation from explosive to fire. Set the longevity to 5. When you play it, you'll notice the bubbles are moving upward. Let's make further adjustments. Head to producer and increase the X radius and Y radius to disperse the bubbles across the composition. Trim the workspace and review the animation. The bubbles are moving too quickly. To slow them down, adjust the resistance under physics. This will decrease their speed. Ok, let's preview the animation. Go to particles and increase the particle size. Alright, looks good now. Let's increase the resistance to 3 to slow it down a bit more. We're done with these bubble settings. Now, create a new solid. In effects and presets, search for gradient ramp. Double click on gradient ramp to apply it to the new solid layer. Choose a hue of blue color followed by a darker shade. Adjust the color placement as needed. Place this solid layer below all others. The bubble colors appear strange, so let's change the blending mode of the solid layer where the bubble effect is applied. Click on the icon below to access the blending options, and change the blending mode from normal to screen. All right, it's looking better now.
Go to project and import the soda can. This is the transparent PNG. Import it. Drag and drop it onto the timeline. And scale it down a bit. Rotate it as needed. Make a duplicate of this can by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Now move 10 frames forward. The shortcut for moving 10 frames forward is Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow key. Select both can layers, press P for position and Shift plus R for rotation. Click on the stopwatch next to both position and rotation. Now, move 10 frames backward. The shortcut for it is Shift plus Ctrl plus left arrow key on your keyboard. Move one can to the left top and the second can to the right bottom. Now rotate the first can like this, make it straight. And do the same with the second. Okay, good. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to ease them. Go to the graph editor and adjust the graph. Adjust it like this. Cool. At the point where both cans meet, we'll trim one can till this frame. Select the can layer below and at this frame trim it by pressing Alt in the right square bracket. Select the untrimmed can layer and apply the wiggle effect to it. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Wiggle Position. Double click on Wiggle Position to add this effect. If you think it's moving too much, decrease the wiggle speed to 0.5. Additionally, apply wiggle rotation by double clicking on it. In wiggle rotation settings, set the wiggle speed to 0.5. Adjust the parameters as needed. Let's increase the workspace first. After that, we'll import the other elements. Go to Project and import the other elements. These are the four elements that we'll import. Drag and drop them onto the timeline. Adjust their position, scale, and rotation as required. Rotate the strawberry. Scale down the berries. Rotate them as well. Move the leaf on top and make a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Move it downwards and rotate it as needed.
Once the positions of all these elements are adjusted, select all of them and pre-compose them. The shortcut to pre-compose them is Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Select the first PNG. In Effects and Presets, search for Wiggle. Apply Wiggle Rotation first by double-clicking on it. Decrease the Wiggle Speed to 0.3 and the Wiggle Amount to 10. Apply Wiggle Position by double-clicking on it. Decrease the Wiggle Speed to 0.5 and the Wiggle Amount to 20. Zoom in to see the effect better. Ok, this looks good. Let's increase the wiggle amount a little bit more. Perfect. Now, we'll duplicate this effect to paste it on all the elements below. Scroll all the way up. Select wiggle rotation. Then scroll all the way down to the end of this effect. Select it by pressing Ctrl on the keyboard. Press Ctrl plus C to copy. Now select the other PNG layer and press Ctrl plus V to paste this effect. Repeat the same for the fourth PNG layer by pressing Ctrl plus V to paste the effect. Now, for the leaf, select the leaf layer and press Ctrl plus V to paste the effect. Do the same for the last layer. Paste the effect on it. Let's play the animation to see the effect applied on all of these elements. It's looking good. Now, in the effects and presets, search for Gaussian Blur. We'll apply Gaussian Blur to the leaf layer at the bottom. Select the bottom leaf layer, go to effects and presets, and search for Gaussian Blur. Double click on Gaussian Blur to apply this blur effect and increase the blurriness amount. Also, apply it to the berries layer. Select it and double click on Gaussian Blur to apply the blur effect on it as well. Increase the blurriness amount. Good, let's see the animation. Now, go back to the main composition and review the animation. We will add text here, so click here and paste your text. I will write, Summer Sizzle. Adjust the text size and then apply a font. Go to character and adjust the spacing between these two lines and also adjust the scale if required. Now, go to effects and presets and search for 3D. Apply the 3D rain and colors effect on it. Double click on it to apply this effect on this text layer and let's see the animation. We want this, summer sizzle, text layer to appear first. So, we'll see at what point the text animation ends. This is the point where the text animation ends. Select these two Sodokan layers and move their position, offset them to that point where the text layer animation ends. Now let's see the animation. Also, we don't want this text to appear on top of the can. We want it to be below it. So, move this, summer sizzle, text layer below the can layer. Go back to the project and import this rainbow transparent PNG.
drag and drop it onto the timeline above the background layer. Adjust the rotation and position of this rainbow PNG. The last step is to move the solid layer on which the bubble effect is applied on top of all the layers. Your animation is complete. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Ace Designs.